come back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your Node.js, GraphQL, uh, or any Express middleware server to Heroku. In case if you don't know what Heroku is, it's a, it's a deployment server uh, where you can deploy your Node.js uh, applications to Heroku. There are multiple other options like Amazon Web Services or Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud. Uh, I always use Google Cloud, but this time I want to try out Heroku. The reason I want to try it out because it's um, it's free first of all, and then um, it's it's very you know it's very user friendly if you want to deploy your Node.js server uh, very quickly. So let's get started. In case if you already if you don't already have an account, sign up for free, and it's very easy sign up. It doesn't even need your credit card. All you need like you know first name, last name, couple of things here, and it will it will give you a free account. I already have an account, so I'm going to use my account to sign up this. That's it, and it will take you to the, your, your dashboard. So I'm going to use the free version, and uh, let me show you my GitHub repository. Um, just now I finished an app, it was like imply management payroll app and the front end was built in Angular and uh, I've built the entire middleware and backend into GraphQL which connects to ultimately MongoDB or MySQL server. So uh, uh, what I want to do, I want to deploy that uh, I want to deploy that middleware into Heroku. So in case if you I will include the link to this repository to, to this video. So this is the uh, this is my app and I already made a video about that you can clone this script repository and create your own app. Um, in that video I showed you how you can use the local URL, local MongoDB but in this case I want to deploy the entire middleware to Heroku. So let's get started. So first of all this is the like you know uh, I included everything like client and server into one repository as you can see everything is into the server. Um, the problem not the problem but you know actually the way to deploy to Heroku is uh, it can accept your Git repository. The, you, you can take entire Git repository and push it to Heroku. So that's a kind of little little good. So what I did, I took, um, so look at the server side. I took all of these files, okay, I created another GitHub repository and I put everything into that um, that repository. That could be a temp repository or doesn't matter, but you know, it make it, you know, your life very easy. So what I did, I cloned this repository in my local drive. I created another repository. Let me show you which one. and. Um, See, imply payroll middleware temp, and later on I'm planning to delete it like as soon as I'm de I'm done deploying with uh, to get uh, to Heroku. So all I did, I took all my server code, copied it here. That's it. That's all I'm doing here. So uh, everything in my code is is here. Okay. Only one corrections I'm going to make, and please keep in mind the reason. You know. So look at this port. So earlier I was using GraphQL port, but now I am using port. So make sure to use this word P-O-R-T port. Don't use any other variable. And later on, as you can see, this is the port. So by default, your um, Node.js server is listens to your app to the, that port. You can customize this, but if you're deploying it on Heroku, what Heroku does, it dynamically assigns a port to your um, to your app. So if you can just use it like this, so that we you know it's little flexible how you how Heroku will uh, will get that done for you. Okay, so let's get started with the um, Heroku. So as you can see, it's very, very simple. Suppose I want to create a new app. Um, I'm not going to do it like this. Let's go to the dashboard. Oops. Now I want to, let's look at the documentation, okay? So the good thing with Heroku is, as you can see, it lets you deploy any of your application like Ruby, Python, Java, PHP, etc. This time we are doing Node.js server. So click on Node.js and you, as you can see, get started with Node.js. So um, one thing, first thing, you need to have Node.js installed. Okay, Otherwise it's not going to work. In case if you don't already have Node.js, just go to Node.js.org and get the latest Node.js on your machine. That's very simple. Any any of the version like long term support version 8.11 or current version whatever it is is anything will do here okay so now once you have that the second thing you will need is Git okay so install Git 
So again, if you don't have that, just like get the latest version of the Git in your machine. Okay, that's it. That's all you will need. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you. You know, this is the uh, Heroku tutorial, so I'm not going to discuss how to install Node.js and Git. But I assume, like you know, I'm proceed with the uh, with the assumption that you already have the Node.js and Git. So this time, as you can see. I'm going to do everything in Note, um, you know, Visual Studio Code. You can, all you need is a terminal and window, but you know, basically I like this thing here so that I can see my files side by side. As you can see, there's a new directory here. There's nothing inside the directory, erish erp. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open a command prompt window in the Visual Studio Code. And uh, let me just clear it out, okay? Let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay, perfect. So, now next thing is, as you can see, oops, okay, let me start first. Okay, so I am inside my documents directory. I will go to the my directory I just created. It's called Elish ERP. You can name this directory whatever you want. I'm just named it Elish ERP, and I'm going to do an ls. Uh, as you can see, this directory is completely blank. So first thing first, I want you to check if you have Node installed on your machine. If not, then go back to nodejs.org and get Node installed. Okay. Second thing is you need npm-v. npm comes with Node. There's no separate installation required, but I want you to please test it out. Next thing I want you to do is git um, just type this command git um, dash dash version so it will tell you if you already have a successful git installation or not if you do not have that please stop it here and get git installed your machine and then you proceed next thing as you can see I copied everything into into uh, my temporary repository here so next thing I'm going to do I'm going to copy this whole URL here and go back come back to my command prompt window and say git clone and I'm going to give this path it's going to take very few seconds and as you can see, done, boom. So now if I go to my um, file directory, inside Elish, Elish ERP, as you can see, it copied the, that entire thing here, okay? Now, next thing is, as you can see, I'm inside the Elish ERP directory, but I need to be inside this directory, CD imply payroll, okay? Now I'm going to do a quick LS here, make sure that, you know, this looks exactly like this, that's it. So basically that's all you need from the setup perspective, okay? Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. So now, next thing is, if you do not already have Heroku, you need to get Heroku first. So suppose, again, um, just go to their uh, Heroku website and uh, documentation, Node.js, and just follow the instructions. So you need to have Brew installed Heroku Brew. If you're on a Mac machine, if you're on, on a window, it's even simpler. Just download the 64 or 30 board installer and just um, double click on this one and it will install that. If you are using a Linux machine, use this command. So, this is the command. I'm not going to hit enter because I already have that. But I just wanted to show you that this is the command here. Okay. Oops. So, it looks like it's already doing that. But anyway. Perfect. Okay. So, next thing is you need to do Heroku login. So as soon as you hit Heroku login, let me just do it. Heroku login. So if you are already logged in, so it will it should show you your existing email ID. If not, then it's going to ask you your email ID. So in this my case, see this is my email ID. And next thing is going to ask you your password. Perfect. You are logged in already. Okay. Uh, this thing is next thing you know it tells you to check your node version npm version and git version we have already done that so I'm going to skip that and go to this directory now git clone as you can see I already did that so I already copied my uh, node.js uh, server which I'm trying to deploy I already copied that and I'm inside that directory as you can see I'm already there's a two-step process first you copy clone it and second you browse into make sure you are into the, the, this directory and in this directory you should already have package.json you should so this directory if I do an ls it should directly show me package.json because that's how it understands it takes your package.json is going to deploy it to Heroku and install all the npm dependencies here so let's go to the next step next thing you have to do is Heroku create very simple 
basically is a very simple tutorial is follow along but i just want to do it do it anyway because i you know just to for the completion sake because i want to show an a product end to end that okay i created a front end payroll application i created a middleware back end and now it's time to deploy so that's the only reason i'm doing this uh, uh doing doing this tutorial so as you can see your heroku it created a new project for you and it it, it, and it picks a dynamic name and assign that name to your heroku app okay next thing is you have to do git push heroku master So all it's going to do is takes you all the codes it put inside that is going to push it to the uh, Heroku server and as you can see it does more than that. What it does, it does an npm install on this package.json. So see it says installing node, uh, node modules. So it reads your package.json and it creates a different version out there. Okay. Perfect. And it says verifying, you know, just make sure that you read all the, you know, you don't need to go through everything, but make sure that you don't see any error and it should say, okay, everything is out there. Now, at this point, you might be thinking I'm done, but actually you are not. There are two more commands and what this command does, it makes sure that you have at least um, uh, one uh, Node.js app is running. So you don't need to, you know, you don't need more than at least one should be running. So that's all it does. Okay, it's very, and next thing is, if you do Heroku open, perfect. It's going to open the Heroku on your um, in a web browser window. So what I want to show you here, let me just show you. Okay, see, welcome Elishirp user. So it opened. Um, so now my app is up and running at this port, okay? Now, if I do actually uh, alive tracking.com, so this is the middleware URL I will be using in my front end, but at this point, all my middleware and server installation is pretty much complete. Last thing I want to show you, just um, just so that you know, you know, like, okay. It's, so suppose, you know, you there's some problem or some issues, the next thing you should do, that uh, just, just type this command Heroku logs hyphen hyphen tail. So what this command does, it will tell you if there is any problem with your code. So just like you know in your um, node, if you're running a Node.js local server in your local machine, you can see every all, all all the actions on your command prompt window. That's basically you know all the what this is doing. What this command does is telling you you know that your Node.js Node .js server is running fine or not. So if you are printing any console log or anything like that so you can that's how you can access your uh, node.js server um, i think that's pretty much it for this um, uh, for this tutorial as you can see it's very easy to deploy your node.js or any middleware servers using heroku services um, thank you for watching